Welcome back guys. Today we're going to spray the bottom of the 70 Chevelle. This car is a little different than the normal process. This car was done a couple years ago and they painted the bottom flat black and they kind of, uh, I don't know, they went, they did a not so good job seam sealing and they went over a lot of stuff that we wouldn't have gone over so we fixed a few things under here and spot primed it with CRE, sanded it all back down, did the seam sealing this morning, got it in here. Now we're going to paint the bottom. This is going to be indigo blue. This is the first batch of anything we've sprayed for this car. So indigo blue and then it's going to have a hypersonic gray stripes on the car so we're going to do a hypersonic gray traditional Chevelle double stripe stone the firewall and we're going to kind of fade them away as it goes towards the bottom because I really don't want a mass stripes all the way down the side of this car around all of these up down up down bumps bumps bing bang so I don't want to do that uh, he doesn't want to do that we're just gonna fade them away. So here we go. We're gonna put DPLV 50 down as a sealer on the bottom of the firewall. Give that about an hour, hour and a half. And then three coats of indigo blue. Off center line on each side. So what I'm going to do is 
Let's take and measure this. I'm not touching the paint with this ruler. I'm just making a rough mark. So I've got my tape here. This very edge is just a little bit before my inch and five eighths mark. So when I come in with my quarter inch, I'll run it almost right up to the end of that tape. I'm going to do the same on this side. So now I've got my inch and five eighths marked on each end. Now I'm going to come in with my quarter inch line because of the Chevelle stripes of the quarter inch outline. I'm going to come in with my outline. So there we go, we've got the stripes masked on the firewall, and if you notice when I did the bottom line, I didn't really care too much about it being straight or where it is, because as I come down, I'm going to fade this away, and once we unmask this, you will probably see a faint line down there from the gray silver overspray. Then I'm going to take some blue, and we'll fade that blue back into the stripe, and we'll make a nice fade right there. That'll be gone. And I even fit it up onto the cowl, even though you won't see half of that or so. There's a chrome windshield molding up by the windshield. But uh, So now we're going to go in, going to turn the booth back on here. I'm going to start spraying uh, some GA7 hypersonic gray. And when, I, when we pulled this car into the booth today, I wanted the firewall to be forward because it's going to go right out the exhaust. I don't want the firewall at the other end blowing over spray all over my bottom. Yes, I could have done the gray first, masked the stripes, but being that I'm doing a fade, I wanted, I wanted to do the blue first, keep the fade over spray to a minimum. So before I start spraying the gray, it's critical to look for stuff like this where the tape is not all the way pushed down. If you saw me uh, using the lighter, here. That is for these tight areas where a lot of times the tape wants to come off. If you take a lighter and wave a little heat at that, that helps immensely with curves staying down. Now when I spray this, especially being that I'm fading it out as I go down, I'm keeping my spray pattern small, my pressure fairly low. I've got my gun choked down a bit so that I can just kind of dust this in. So here we go. Now I've got my silver faded down, and like I said before, when I untape this, you probably see there is a little bit of a line there. So I'm going to give this a few minutes before I totally untape this, but when I untape this, now I'm going to take some over-reduced blue, and I'm going to kind of blend that blue back into it. I'm going to fade it both ways. That's how you get a, a nice gradual fade. That would be a two-stage fade. If you're doing a three-stage fade, you would basically take this color and this color, mix them together, fade that in, and then go to your blue fade up. That would be a three-stage fade. Uh, there's people that have gone crazy top to bottom, 12-stage fade, and all that, but we're not doing that on this car. So this is what we're doing. This is how we're doing it. This will be a little blue. So now you can see that fade that I've got going on. I've got blue back in the gun, and I've got my pressure turned up a little bit, and I've got my gun choked down, so I'm just spraying a little bit, and we're just going to kind of blend this back in very gently. We're just going to fade these two colors together, give it a nice 